Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have a pretty cool book haul. I went to this annual book sale that happens in the town over from mine. Small town. Both of those towns are small towns. Anyway, um, they have an annual book sale where they just put like a ton of books in this warehouse and you can just look at all of them and buy books obviously. And then they gave me a tote bag, big, and was like, if you are able to fill this tote bag with books, you only have to pay us $10. So I was like, bet. Welcome to a historical romance haul. <laughs> Either I think all of these books have step backs. I think every single one has a step back or a stunning cover. So um, let's get into this. A few of these I've never heard about before. So let's get into this. I got 26 books by the way for 10 dollars. I will definitely be going to that sale again. You can say that. I found this Stephanie Lauren's book. So this one is called The Edge of Desire, which is a part of the Bastion Club. Um, and then they're on the back here, but then they're also in the step back. Like I was a little worried because I think I started running out of step back Saturday books because I'm like, oh, I've already done that one. I've already done that one. But look at all the new ones I can do for Step Back Saturday. Stunning. Stephanie Lawrence has like amazing step backs. This is apparently second chance romance between our heroine and our hero. And um, she needs to get back in contact with the hero to clear her brother's name for some reason. I don't know. They used to be ex-lovers, so looks fun. I've actually never read a Stephanie Lawrence, but I know I need to. Uh, next is The Knights of Rosecliff by Rexanne Becknell. Becknell. Look at the, there's a little cutout here. And then you open it up and look at this. She's holding a bow and arrow. Isn't that so cool? It looks like medieval. I think this is a medieval romance. It's so pretty. Our heroine Ronwyn has nothing but hatred for the English until destiny finds her seduced by her enemy, kissed into submission by a man she sought to kill who now takes her prisoner. Say less, yes. So many buzzwords are in there. I found a few Katherine Anderson books and I just buy her books because they have fantastic step backs. So this one's titled Forever After by Katherine Anderson with this two page stunner. Hello. So this one is a single mother romance and our hero is the local sheriff named Heath. And he's trying to uncover all of Meredith's secrets. So it looks like this is a Western. Another Katherine Anderson is this one called Cherish. Look how pretty this is just without the step back. But get ready because look at this step back. Another two page one. So our hero is a rancher who lives a solitary life and then Rebecca wakes up in a stranger's embrace. But this man has a fearsome reputation. Okay next is this one. This one doesn't have a step back but look at this cover. Hello, this is Kissing a Stranger by Margaret Evans Porter. Beautiful book. So our heroine Lavinia is going to London to find a wealthy husband because her family is desperate to turn her into a fortune hunter. Our hero is Lord Garrick, who is a gambler with a notorious past. He only wanted two things in life he couldn't have and one of them is Lavinia. For beneath her schemes, he recognizes a woman of rare honesty and sensuality who he could spend his life with. So maybe like a reformed rake. I found this hardback version of a Johanna Lindsay. Anytime I find a hardback of Johanna Lindsay, I get it because look what's always on the back of her hardbacks. It's like, I think it's a Fabio cover. Like, <laughs> this is iconic. <laughs> this one's titled, You Belong to Me. I think this one takes place in Russia. Cause it says, in all of 1830s Russia, no man exists who can tame Baroness Alexandra. As fiery as she is beautiful, she has rejected suitor after suitor, finally citing a long forgotten agreement. Her father insists she marry Count Petrov, cousin to King Stefan of Cardinia. I don't know. So I think this is set in Russia, which is interesting. I don't think I've read a historical set in Russia before. Then I found Yours Until Dawn by Teresa Medrios. I actually already own this book, but I found a two page step back of Teresa Medrios. So I may, think I might give this to a friend or um, might put it on my Pango books. Next is this one by Heather Graham. Heather Graham is another author that I know has a lot of beautiful step backs. This one's titled And One Road West, which I think this is a Western book. 
This one takes place after the bitter aftermath of the Civil War. And this is her, I think, um, Marriage of Convenience with Colonel Jeremy McColty. Yeah, it just looks like a Marriage of Convenience, but look at all the flowers on here. I think it's so pretty. Then I found A Promise Given by Samantha James. I do own another Samantha James. And look, see this cutout right here? Like, it's because it's an actual, whoa, an actual like cutout. And you can see this is the step back. This one is a Scottish romance, a Highlander one. So the proud head of his Highland clan, Ian McGregor has returned cloaked in secrets to the place where he spent many carefree years in order to marry Margaret Kincaid, the Lowlands lass to whom he's been betrothed since his youth. But it's the wild spirited and hauntingly beautiful Sabrina McCaid who catches Ian's eye. And when Margaret mysteriously vanishes, he's willing to accept Sabrina as his bride in her sister's stead. So that sounds messy. Next is a Virginia Henley book. This one's titled Notorious. I have read a Virginia Henley. Wasn't my favorite book, but um, I could not resist this. Okay, can we take a moment, please? Need I say anything else, honestly? So our heroine Brianna ends up meeting Wolf Mortimer, a man who possesses the Celtic gift of second sight. She finds it impossible not to surrender to her body to his fierce desire. And Wolf's father, the queen's lover, is imprisoned in the Tower of London. Brianna is swept on an adventure that not only puts her heart in peril, but jeopardizes the life of the man who could be her destiny. And I think she's also betrothed to somebody else. So again, messy sounding book. Another Stephanie Lawrence is Captain Jack's woman. Look at this cover. I think I own the other cover too, but like I could not resist this. I actually think I have this book on hold on Libby. I think it's a pirate romance. It looks really fun. And like this painting style is like my favorite thing. This one looks so fun. So I saw this book and I was like, whoa. So this one's titled Escape Not My Love by Elaine Kaufman. And she's preg, I think she's pregnant, right? And look, the cutout of her belly like opens up like this. And then this is the step back. Like this is one of the coolest step backs I own. Like her, her, I think her pregnant belly is like the cutout. That is so cool. So it looks like Jennifer is like a troublesome woman. Okay. And her father has uh, sent a gunslinger, a very famous gunslinger to find her and bring her back home. And I think that's her romance with him, with the gunslinger that's like sent to kidnap her and bring her home, I guess. Next, I did find a few Catherine Coulter books. So this one's Secret Song. And this is the step back, very unique. I've never really seen anyone like this. There's like a border here. It's really cool. It looks like this is a, con a conclusion novel to the song trilogy. So I'm not really gonna read this one because it is the last book in a series. I don't wanna spoil myself. I found this one by Katherine Coulter, which is absolutely stunning because I saw this, the pirate ship and I was like, pirate romance, yes. Okay, this one's Devil's Embrace by Katherine Coulter. Like this is raised right here. It is absolutely stunning. Um, so is the spine. This is the back. I don't know if this is a pirate romance because it doesn't really read like it. It just seems like this heroine meets an aristocratic dude and they fall in love or something. That's what the back says. But who knows? He might be a pirate in secret for all I know because why is there a pirate ship back there? Oh, I also found Fire Song by Catherine Coulter, which I think is the first book in that song. The first Catherine Coulter book I saw, the song series. I think this is the first one. It looks really cool. Look at the back too. I feel like there's also some maybe like mythological like magic stuff in this which seems really fun my last Catherine Coulter book is Midsummer Magic look at another stunning cover more raised letters here I never read a Catherine Coulter book but I do know a lot of my friends who collect historicals collect her books as well so it's absolutely beautiful clever beautiful Frances disguised herself as a mousy Scottish lass to keep Hawk, the notoriously rakish and dashing Earl of Rothmere, from being forced to marry her. But she was chosen as his bride for that very reason. Wedded, bedded, and finally deserted, Frances quickly sheds her facade to become glittering London's most ravishing and fashionable leading lady, only to find she has roused the ire and ignited the passions of her faithless husband. Another messy book. Next is The Tea Planter's Bride by Rosemary Rogers, another author that I've heard great things about. This is the two page step back. These books have like fantastic dresses, fantastic flowers. I love it. So it looks like Cecilia came to London to become a proper English rose. And this is her romance with Grant Hamilton, who is a daring and unpredictable American rogue who senses a cringered spirit in the stunning copper eyed beauty whom he has agreed to escort through London's social world. Next is The Tender Texan by Jodi Thomas, another one with a 
cut out here. Also, I love how there's like blue bonnets on the front, very Texan. Um, and this is the step back for this one. More blue bonnets, which is so pretty. This one's so pretty. So on the brink of manhood, Chance White agreed to settle down and build a home with a lovely stranger. The boy in him never considered the possibility of love, but the man in him could not deny the passion. I think he's like a cattle rancher, which is fun. Next is this one titled Every Time I Love You by, oh, another Heather Graham. I forgot, I had another Heather Graham here. This book looks iconic to me. Like look at all this stuff. There's like this sunbeam thing. There's a boat in it, like a ship in it. There's a horse. And then I don't know what that is. It looks like a house back there. But like, look at that clinch. Look at that clinch. Whoa, this tagline on the front says, they had loved passionately 200 years ago. Could it happen? be happening all over again? I don't want to read the summary for that one because I don't want to spoil myself because that looks fun. Oh, another Stephanie Lawrence that I found is this one. This is titled Temptation and Surrender. This is a part of the Sinister series. This is a very interesting cover. And then it also has a step back. This one says, handsome, wealthy, and well-born. He had everything a gentleman needed to enjoy life to the fullest. Everything that is except the passion he could find in her bed. Scandalous. I found a Kathy Maxwell. I do collect her books because her step backs are stunning. So this one is A Seduction at Christmas. And this is the, this is the step back for that one. Like I wish I could print this out and frame it on my wall for Christmas time. Cause that is beautiful. Desperation and an empty stomach forced Fiona Lachlan to agree to a plan that ended up luring the wickedly notorious Duke of Holborn into trouble. Everything went terribly wrong and now she found herself posing as his ward. And while she swore nothing could make her desire a scoundrel, even if he was a Duke, she now is drawing even closer to the man she cannot have. I love guardian ward romances, they're so fun. I found Rules of Engagement by Suzanne Enoch. Two page step back beautiful yellow dress. This is about Captain Bradshaw who loves the seafaring life, though he'd rather be battling anyone else than his current assignment of fearing a boatload of spoiled aristocrats. One passenger, however, has caught his eye, a bewitching young minx who definitely distracts him from the rules of shipboard decorum. Then I have Promise of the Rose by Brenda Joyce. Like this is really cool with like the armor and the rose. And then when you open it up, you have this beautiful red step back. So this one's about Mary, who was the beautiful daughter of the Scottish king and an unwilling prisoner of the Norman invaders. The headstrong princess refuses to reveal her identity, even if it means sacrificing her virtue. But in the arms of a dangerous enemy, she discovers a powerful passion and a powerful promise. That one does sound a little bit iffy to me because it kind of sounds like non-con. I don't know, <laughs> but we'll see. Stunning cover. It'll be used for a step back Saturday, nonetheless. Um, I have two more left. So next is The Gift by Julie Garwood. It also has yellowed pages here. Um, I've heard great things about The Gift, but I've never seen this cover before. Like, look at how beautiful it is. You have raised letters. It's pink. And my last one is actually like a regular sized paperback. This is Come Love a Stranger by Kathleen E. Woodowis. I do own one other Kathleen E. Woodowis and it's actually the size. So they match, which is really cool. But like, look at the painting effect of this cover. I think it's beautiful. They're in the water. At least I think they're in the water or a jungle or something. I have no idea. It kind of looks like her dress is wet. So this one's about Lenore and Ashton and he dragged his bride through a nightmare of dark passions and murder. Confused and afraid, her memories of young happiness destroyed by tragedy and violence, she now remembers nothing. <gasps> so it's an amnesia. Okay. Not who she was, not the horrors she has suffered, nor the two men who now fought to claim her. Who's the other man? I don't know. So those are all the books that I got for $10. I got all those for $10. Please give me a round of applause, $10. They will be added to my historicals up there. I do need to put them in order because I organize my historicals alphabetically by author. So that's gonna take a little while to do. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, I would love to know. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, be sure to leave me a horse emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.